Hey DIYers, I'm George with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be comparing a 5800 mini sensor to a 6 mini CT. Now, both of these, this is the 5800 mini, this is the 6 mini CT. Both of these are Honeywell sensors. Uh, they act just as any other door window sensor would act. So you go ahead and you place these on the frame of the house. So whether it's the frame of the door or the window frame, and then you would grab the magnet and you would place it on the actual moving or swinging part. So if it's a door that swings open, you go ahead and place this on the swinging part and you place this on the frame. And whenever the door swings away, it causes a fault. That fault is uh, basically the signal that the sensor sends over to the system, letting it know, hey, there, I, my read switch, the internal read switch, no longer has a magnet connected to it, which causes that fault signal, and it sends it over to the panel. Now, they're both going to act the same. So they both have an internal read switch that a magnet connects to, and once you move away, the sensor then sends a signal. Uh, first, let's talk about the 5800 Mini. This is a 5800 mini sensor, so this transmits at a 345 megahertz frequency. So any Honeywell system that has a uh, 300 frequency receive, 345 RF frequency receiver is going to be compatible with this sensor. So this is going to go to the Lyric, it's going to go to any Lynx panel, it's going to go to any GC3 or GC2, and if you have a Vista system that has a wireless receiver in it, this is also going to work with that. Now, one cool thing about the 5800 mini is I actually took the battery out before the video so I could show you guys this. Um, now, we've opened the sensor a lot, but if you look on the side here, there's a little tab. You just go ahead and grab a flat head. You put it in flat. You twist it to open, and it pops the side right out. Let me just pull it away. There we go. Now... Cool thing about this 5800 mini, for those of you who are just going to begin to power it on, is it actually has two LEDs, a green and a blue one. Uh, the blue one is to let you know when the magnet is in contact with the read switch, and the green is to let you know whenever it's transmitting. So I go ahead and install the battery. These, all, these both sensors use a coin battery, by the way. Plus side is going to go up. As soon as I push it in, I'm going to put the cover back on. We're going to do... Uh, I'm going to show you guys here. So you're going to see a green light on this side and then a blue light on this side. Whenever the magnet comes into, when it con comes into contact with the reed switch, you're going to see the blue light is going to turn on. I pull it apart. The blue light turns off, but the green starts flashing, letting you know that the sensor is transmitting. So the blue light means magnets in contact. Green light, sensor is transmitting. This could work. This only, I'm sorry, this only works within the first 10 minutes of installing the battery into the sensor. Um, basically, it's to help you install it. So if you're installing it on a window and you don't know the distance or how far away you can put the magnet, you the blue light is a pretty good indicator. So if you place it close, once you see the blue light, the blue light lets you know, hey, okay, the read switch is reading the magnet. Yeah. Now for these sensors, keep in mind, you typically don't want to have the magnet that far away. What's recommended is usually a quarter of an inch to half an inch apart. That's the gap that I would probably stick with. So that was the 5800 mini. Now let's go on, let's go on to, the, uh, to the 6 mini CT. Now first thing I want to show you is I just want to compare the sizes, right? So if you place the 5800 mini right on top of the 6 mini CT, you're going to see the 5800 mini is slightly smaller overall. The depth, which is how deep it is, well, that one has a sticker. Let me flip it around so you guys can actually see the other side. You'll see that the 5800 mini is slightly skinnier than the 6 mini CT. So this is the 5800 mini. That's the 6 mini. So yeah, all around the 5800 mini is going to be smaller than the 6 mini CT. Um, however, wherever you guys do plan on placing, whether it's a window or door, it is going to be aesthetically pleasing either way. They are pretty small sensors. All the other sensors besides this are pretty big compared to these. Now, one thing about this one that you guys want to know is that it offers a longer range. So this one has a 300 foot range and uh, this 5800 mini has 200 feet. The good thing about the 5800 mini, you can actually use a repeater so you can extend it out another 200 feet. This one, since there is no um, encrypted repeater, 
it only goes to 300 feet and that's all it is. Also, one important thing you know, you need to know about this sensor is it, it, it is only compatible with, with the Lyric controller. Yeah, so it's not compatible with any other panel. It does use the, uh, the 6 series and uh, it actually transmits at a 2.4 gigahertz fr radio frequency. Yeah, it is, <clears throat> it is also encrypted. So it actually uses, I believe it's 128-bit AES, which is Advanced Encryption Standard. So it actually, whenever it sends a signal or whenever it gets firmware updated or any interaction it has with the Lyric system, it actually has a key. Both the Lyric system and the sensor need that key to send signals back and forth. So that's why it is encrypted. Nobody can actually hack this uh, little sensor. You would need like a supercomputer to do it. But uh, this sensor is basically unhackable, unspoofable. Um, one little thing I want to show you guys. So whenever you guys do get a 6 mini CT and you guys want to confirm that it is brand new, it actually comes with a battery tab. Once you pull it, there's going to be a green LED that starts flashing. It should start flashing rapidly for about, I think it's like 20 or 30 seconds. That's letting you know that's, that it's in a pairing mode with the Lyric system. Now, if it's slow blinking when you first power it on, that means it has not been, um, it was never removed from the older panel, which means you have to default the sensor. I'm going to show you guys, this one is not learning to any, any panel, so it should start fast blinking. And since I don't have the battery tab anymore, I have to tamper it. Um, I'll show you guys just in one moment here. Now, these things are pretty diff The covers are a little bit difficult to take off. Make sure you get a flat head. Stick it flat into the side. Twist, and it should start popping the cover off. There we go. And it is fast blinking. I'll put it into the camera. And it just stops. So it does go into a fast blink for a good amount of time. If I hit that tamper one more time, it should start to flash fast blinking. And you should be able to see it on the, the inside as well, as well as the outside. Yeah. So that's letting me know that this sensor is brand new. It's not learned into any system. Um, I have seen where sometimes you do need to default the sensor just because it was, you know, uh, tested in the factory just to make sure everything was working and they may have forgotten to uh, delete it from the Lyric system. So, uh, yeah, just make sure if it does slow blink that you default the sensor. And we actually have instructions on how to do that on our website as well. Um, and that is pretty much a quick overview about the 5800 Mini and the, <laughs> the 6 Mini CT. Yeah, if you guys do have any questions, email us at support at alarmgear.com. And if you found this video helpful, all you have to do is make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. My name is George. I'll see you guys next time.